This is Idaho News 6. Good morning, Idaho. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Good Morning Idaho. I am Frankie Catafias. Jump is inviting the community to you a unique celebration of death through life. Dia, Dia de Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is an important tradition in Mexico, and this morning, our photojournalist Norman Kaler is showing us how Jump is preparing to honor the holiday. We are celebrating Dia de Muertos, which is a celebration of life and love and a time to honor and remember our loved ones who have passed. And we're teaming up with the Mexican consulate this weekend to have some fun activities. You know, I think it's important to learn about the traditions and cultures from other countries. At Jump, as we are a creative center and a community gathering place, we like to introduce people to new ideas. It's different than Halloween and that it's about death, but it's a celebration of death and reuniting the deceased with the living. It's a time to bring them together, to honor, to remember, to share stories that are an incredible and powerful way to connect those of us that are living with our loved ones that have passed, that we might think of them every single day, but it's, it's one day to really celebrate their lives and the legacy that they left behind. Well, on Sunday and Monday, you can view altars in the lobby windows at Jump in downtown Boise. You can also check out virtual Dia de Muertos performances on the Jumbotron. Jump is also inviting everyone to light a candle and write a memory or a message to the loved ones from 2 to 7 on Sunday and Monday. A local school district is working to fill bellies over the holiday season, and they're doing it in a COVID safe way. As Idaho News 6's six, six photographer Norman Kaler shows us, they're serving everyone who needs it. So we are operating our seamless summer meal program, which basically is a federal program that allows us to provide a hot lunch free for every child ages one to 18. We have a bus route that goes around to several stops and you can just show up at that bus stop and they'll hand you some meals. We know that there's kids out there who are not getting meals, so we worry about them. But it's also important for us because we've got a lot of uh, nutrition service workers who need kids to serve meals too. So coming out and picking up a meal can not only feed your kid, but it can help save a job. 